Hi, everyone. It's Kristen. I know it's been a while since I've done a like a face to face <laughs> or face in front of the camera a video. Um, I've been doing a lot of mansion videos. So I thought it was kind of past time, but I mean, the thing is, though, of course, I did my review of Uncanny X-Men 1 with uh, Gail Simone and David Marquez. I'm pretty, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I hope that's how you pronounce his name. Um, and I was waiting on issue two, and I still don't have it. I subscribed directly through Marvel. I did that for the upcoming Dazzler series, Dazzler miniseries, too, and I haven't received that either. So, I mean, I already checked the mail today, and I like to put out a video at least once a week, usually on Saturday, because that's, you know, that's when I have time to do it. Um, and, yeah, nothing. So, I was like, okay, um, plan B. <laughs> so, here we are. Um, I'm actually going to do uh, the second issue in the Dazzler series from the 80s. I believe it ran... 40 issues, 42 issues. I'll have to double check that. I have the entire run uh, just because it, it's, just, it's just so fun. And I mean, I mean, look at this. Last Stain in Disco Land, guest starring Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, Avengers. I mean, there's so, so many different characters that make an appearance in her series. It just it's just it's just a fun read. So, um, yeah, this is my backup plan since n neither of those came today. and um, I subscribed through Marvel directly so that I could save money. So I feel like kind of buying another copy defeats the purpose of me trying to save money doing that. <laughs> but if I don't, if I continue to not get my copies like in a timely manner, then I might, I might have to do that because I don't want to miss out. Like I've already been trying to avoid spoilers and I've already seen some, of course, because there's no way you can get on the internet and not see spoilers for something. So, I mean, you know, I'm not blaming anyone else. I'm just saying. Um, but, yeah. And, uh, like, and Kenny X-Men, the third issue comes out, what, the 25th? Yeah, the 25th. And it's, yeah, so it would be kind of funny, but not really, if I got that issue before I got the second issue. <laughs> well, anyway, so we're going we're gonna to be talking about this today. Um, and like, I am, like I said, Rogue will always be my favorite, always, but Dazzler, um, I've always liked that character. I mean, I named my uh, cat after her and I, if I thought for a minute she'd cooperate, um, when I was talking about Dazzler one of these times, I would have her in here with me, but no, <laughs> she would not cooperate. She does not like to be held. She, I mean, unfortunately. <laughs> so, um, I've ar I already did the first issue of the Dazzler um, series on my uh, channel. I also did the Dazzler, the movie, the graphic novel. Um, I did Be the Beauty and the Beast miniseries starring her and Beast. Um, and I did a comparison of all of her uh, figures, her Marvel Legends figures that are out so far. So, I've done quite a few... Uh, videos on her and um, reading back over this last night um, yeah it just it's just fun I mean you have all these guest stars and it's just fun so anyway and like this reminds me of the there was a, uh, a variant cover for the Dazzler the Dazzler 1 that came out where it was kind of this image and I didn't secure that that one, I mean, I wish I did. I missed out. I waited too long to, like, order it. But, yeah, it's fun. So, anyway, in the last issue, in case you didn't, you know, see the video on the first one or don't know, um, the enchant she went against the enchant Enchantress for a singing gig, and the Enchantress lost. So, she is now going to be performing at uh, Club Numero Uno, uh, one of the hottest, most prestigious discos in New York City. And I love the, of course, every decade has their own lingo, but she's like, you know, she calls the Enchantress one weird mama, and she, this lady was heavy, you know, that sort of thing. And um, and later in the series, in this issue, she says that Spider-Man, the Avengers, and the X-Men think I'm swell. 
which well that kind of to me harkens more to like the 40s 50s 60s but anyway <laughs> so like i said every generation has her their own lingo um so you see you know she says she invited her dad but of course her dad's probably not going to show up because he always wanted her to go to law school and be a lawyer you see everyone getting ready to attend her performance uh thing human torch the x-men kitty comes in and says hey if we don't leave now we're going to be late wasp bees captain america wasp is making fun of uh, steve's suit because it's old you know it's out of style out of fashion and she of course was always is always fashionable has her own has had her own fashion lines and everything so it's a packed house and one of the guys uh, comments, one of the people in the crowd comments on, um, I think he's commenting on Nightcrawler's makeup, makeup, saying the dude in metal makeup is real punk and blue makeup. Um, but he could be talking about Beast. But of course, he he's an adventure and he's a public figure. So pretty much most people know. I guess, you know, like Kurt didn't choose to use his image inducer at this point. So anyway, Dazzler makes her appearance. Every time I say Dazzler, I think of my cat. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not like right outside the door meowing and trying to get in right now. She must be sleeping. So Dazzler, making, uh, she starts her show and the Entra Enchantress comes and teleports there. And she, you know, she kind of wants revenge. And also the whole point of, wanting this gig is that there is a going to be an interdimensional cosmic rift that happens like literally right here on the stage so she wanted to be right there on the stage so that she could take advantage of this rift because there's supposed to be an being of immense dark power that's coming through that she basically wants to use to his her advantage so you see spider-man and mary jane in the audience too and spider man's like my spider sense is tingling but i don't know why so enchantress cast a spell to make dazzler prematurely age and you see there's tony stark um and at this point uh this is uh 1981 so not everyone knows that you know um iron man is tony stark and vice versa um and we did a comic book fantastic four blackout had she hulk in it and not even members of the other soup uh, not even other members of the superhero community knew that tony stark was iron man at this point he didn't come out publicly until like 2002 as iron man so and he just said you know oh iron man's my, my bodyguard usually so dazzler's prematurely aging before everyone's eyes she uses the disco ball to focus her um, powers and blast the Scarlet uh, Scarlet Witch Enchantress <laughs> with a laser and um, it basically kind of immobilizes her and that stops the spell and of course everyone in the club runs out because they're freaked out they're scared all the heroes run to go change into their costume it's funny you can see um, everyone in here like thing changing into their costumes and spider-man's like well where am i supposed to change so it goes out onto the roof to change <laughs> and so dazzler is like well i can't you know take on her by myself but at least you know i'm gonna try the sound system's still going so at least i have music to tap into and so heroes to her rescue and Enchantress is like, well, I'm not without resources either. So she summons a lot of monsters and demons to her aid. And you see, um, you know, the battle ensuing. And Captain America sees Colossus fighting this, you know, monster, um, ogre, whatever he is. And he's like, that, you know, young man is outmatched. Let me help him. And then he says, oh, my reflexes were half a second off. I'm old. That's so what Captain America says about himself. He's like, I must be getting old. And Beast, you know, he, he jokes with the, his assailant, you know, he's like, I'm the Beast, you know, I'm the uh, Mary Mutant who's an Avenger in good standing and a former member of the Binky Mouse Club. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
And of course, Thing says his famous line, you know, it's clobbering time. And then you see more, more of the battles happening. And Kitty, she's just kind of hanging out and she, you know, gets almost assaulted by this guy. And she's like, oh, I better duck out. And Wolverine's like, that's good because, you know, she's, she's too young. Oh, I almost missed this. Okay. So it's funny because I'm going to start calling Storm this because it fits. Um, Johnny asks Spider-Man, he says, yo, Webhead, like, who's the ravishing rainmaker, meaning Storm? Um, and like, I like that. It, I think it fits her. It's fun. Um, like, it's an alliteration, which, of course, makes anything more fun. Um, and Spider-Man replies and says, she doesn't date smart Alex or hothead, so you're out. Because, you know, he wants it, her number. Um, and then Storm is like, we're, you know, we're missing the point. We need to attack Enchantress and not, you know, all these, you know, basically monsters, demons that are just a distraction. We need to take her out and Storm and a uh, human torch go to Enchantress. And Storm's like, I've been called a goddess myself. Let's see if my power matches yours. And Enchantress easily like gets rid of them. And so um, Dazzler goes back to face the Enchantress. And you can see the, the being coming out of the rift, the, the cosmic dimensional rift. And a Dazzler, you know, focuses herself, you know, powers up, and the demon comes out more, and she, you know, basically is like, I gotta, you know, give it all I've got, and she says, let's go for it. That makes me think of uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends, when they go, like, Spider -Man, spider friends, go for it. Anyway, sorry, that just came into my head. <laughs> this, I guess this whole issue kind of reminds me of that, because it was just like a more fun, simpler kind of time. The topics weren't so, like, heavy, um, that sort of thing. So, and what happens is because this being is born of pure darkness, like, he, reje he reacts violently to this huge burst of light and retreats back into the dimensional rift. And the Enchantress tries to keep it open, but she can't. Her magic just makes it close faster, which, you know, she kind of feared would happen. And once she realizes the demon's gone, and therefore she can't control him or use his power for herself, she she vanishes, taking all of her goons with her. Because she's like, the prize is lost. There's no point in being here anymore. I'm sure she'll take revenge on Dazzler later <laughs> for this also. I mean, for being beaten in a singing contest for one and then for, you know, her losing her prize. And so pretty much this whole time, the uh, there's a music producer hidden under the table. And he's like, I work for Harry Osgood, one of, you know, um, he represents a lot of talent. Here's his card. This will get you in the door. So the, which is, and this is kind of funny, the X-Men, Avengers, um, Fantastic Four, and Spider-Man, well, half the Fantastic Four, you know, um, they join Dazzler, pick her up in a Quin Quinjet to take her to her appointment on Monday. And what happens is this, she, Dazzler gives the secretary, you know, her, the card that, the music producer says this will get in the door. And she's like, no, Mr. Osgood didn't see anybody, you know, no exceptions. So Beast comes in to distract the secretary. Dazzler slips into Mr. Osgood's office and he's like, get out of here. What are you doing here? And all <laughs> they all just show up randomly. And he's like, what are they? Oh my gosh, we're on the 39th floor. What's going on? Um, and they're like, please, you know, just let her sing, give her a chance. And the thing, you know, crashes in the window. And they're all like, you know, just, just give her a chance. And so he's like, fine, whatever. <laughs> you know, this is like, this is extortion. <laughs> you know, it, it'll make you guys leave and fine. So Iron Man provides a spotlight and, you know, the music and Dazzler sings this haunting tale of lost love. And 
and everyone's you know listening you know wrapped up in what she's singing and she finishes and he's like you know get my lawyer because we have a sensational new singer to sign and the cost of that new window is coming out of her first paycheck so and then it says next dazzler takes on dr doom uh like i said just a fun you know throwback issue i mean it just it's just amazing how many like guest stars Dazzler had. They really like this was uh, 1981. They really wanted to make Dazzler happen, make her huge. And then once her, um, of course, she was in the Uncanny X Men series from like uh, Uncanny X Men 214. That's when she joined the team. I'm pretty sure I did a um, video on that too, in relation to her origin story. Um, and then she was up until, like, they went into the this, this Siege Perilous. And then after that, she didn't appear for a really, like, long time. I think X-Men uh, 10, 11 was when she first appeared again. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry, like, uh, things didn't go as planned. I mean, it's life. And, like, I couldn't find my Dazzler t-shirt. So, I'm just wearing, like, a silver shirt. Uh, since she's dressed in silver because yeah I, I I don't know what happened to it I need to go through like and find all my t-shirts I have such a huge collection of comic book t-shirts it's kind of ridiculous I don't think I've ever gotten rid of one of them honestly um <laughs> so anyway um I hope you will join me again for the next video and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed the next video will be you know, my review of Uncanny X-Men 2, or at least the new Dazzler series. Like, I'm really excited for that. I hope there's some some elements of the old Dazzler series in it, which it seems like there will be, because, um, you know, it's all about her uh, touring again and performing. So I, I feel like there will be some elements of that. So anyway, I hope you join me in the future for more videos and more mansion videos. But like I said... I haven't uh, sat down with you guys and done a face-to-face -face in a, a while, so I felt like I needed to do that before I, you know, did another mansion video. Um, you guys might get tired of those by, you know, by now. So, anyway, until next time, bye.